from stampmaven.com. Today I wanted to show you what I've been working on in my stampin' studio. I'm involved in a leader's swap for convention and I have to make 80 different um, cards. Well, they're actually not going to be different, they're all going to be the same, but 80 full cards. And I wanted to use one of our new stamp sets, Vintage Leaves and the coordinating framelits. You can get these in a bundle to save even more money. So I've decided to use fall colors and I'm going to use Hello Honey, Mossy Meadow, and Blackberry Bliss. Don't you think those are great fall colors? Now when I decided to make this video I wanted to show you another way that you can use your ink pads other than just straight stamping. So here we go. Let me move some of my pile to the side. So what I'm going to show you basically today is how I did the coloring on this flower. Let me start with the one that looks a little bit more plain. So what you can do is either use a full sheet of Whisper White cardstock or just a small piece. And today, to show you the technique, I'm going to use just this little piece so we're not here all day watching and color. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is take some of my Hello Money. Hello Money. <laughs> yes, wouldn't that be great? Hello Honey on my Whisper White cardstock with a sponge. And notice I'm going to turn this around so that I'll get a different amount of color on each part of the cardstock. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is Mossy Meadow. And I'm going to lay down more of my green right in this corner. And you'll see why in a little minute. Okay, the last color I'm going to use is my Blackberry Bliss. Don't these colors look great together? Okay, now let me bring my card here so you can see the leaf as I'm doing this. What I did is I took the maple leaf from the framelits and notice how I position it with the stem down here on the green. That's why I wanted more of the green down there. Then I just ran this through my Big Shot die cut machine using the magnetic plate if you guys don't have that, you need it. It's a way for this framelit and thinlet to stick right on the paper. Okay, so I punched that out and this is what we got. Now, the cool thing is, here's the piece that was left over after I cut it out. So what I did is I used this as a mask. I put it down just like this in my card then I took my sponge again and I did exactly the same thing that I did on that first leaf and voila you've got a great leaf on the inside because you really don't want a naked card right now on the other card I did you'll notice there are um, more veins so what I did is I took my Stampin marker I colored my leaf you can also use the stamp pad, but some people have a little more trouble controlling it, and a marker is a great way to lay down the color but not get color around the edge of your block. So then all I did is, you can see right through this, because it's a photopolymer set, I just stamped, voila, I have the vein-like uh, image on the leaf. Then I carried that through again, same thing with using the negative, whoops, we don't need two of them, the negative of the leaf. I just moved it around my card and then I took the stamp with the vein and stamped. There you go. Okay, last couple of things I wanted to show you. Notice these rhinestones here. I colored those using a gold Sharpie marker so it would sort of coordinate with the Hello Honey. The reason you want to use a Sharpie is because the color will not leave off the rhinestone. If you use the Stampin' Right marker and color it, then you would have to put embossing powder and heat it up to get that color to stay. 
Last but not least, I use some of our Bohemian washi tape. I think it's just so cool the way that all of the Stampin' Up! colors and accessories coordinate so I could bring that into this card and then use a stamp set that did not even go with this Bohemian suite of products. Alrighty. Oh, one just last quick thing to tell you. Remember, when you're stamping with photopolymer stamps, be sure to put your piercing mat under your grid paper so you get a firm image. There's no rubber in the photopolymer, so you need to have something to cushion it a little bit. Alrighty then, that's it. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.